Okay, in this video, we are going to try to do 1985 AB5. So that's number five on the AP calculus exam, Calc AB exam in 1985, which was ages ago, but it uh, doesn't mean the math doesn't work anymore. So let's see if we can do it. This is a relayed rates problem. Um, I've been blowing through some relayed rates. So just like an endless string of FRQs from, from ancient times that are all about relayed rates. So let's see. Balloon shown is in the shape of a cylinder with a hemisphere with hemispherical ends of the same radius as that of the cylinder. All right, so it's like a hemisphere, a cylinder, and then another hemisphere. So we got that. And then um, at the instant, the radius of the cylinder is three. The volume of the balloon is 144 pi, and the radius of the cylinder is increasing at a rate of two centimeters. All right, that's a lot of info. Uh, so what is that? That's a uh, so dv dt is given, dv dt is 261 pi cubic centimeters per minute. So I guess I should write that. I feel like to not write that is to tempt fate once I've said it. Um, okay, r is gonna be equal to three, v is gonna be 144 pi. So we could probably use that to find the height of the cylinder. Um, and then dr dt is two centimeters per minute. Okay, at this instant, what is the height of the, oh, what is the height of the cylinder? That's exactly what I thought we were gonna maybe do. So the volume of this thing should be just uh, a full sphere because of those, and then a cylinder. So a sphere, they actually give you both of these, which I think is so weird. You're an AP calculus, you don't know the volume of these things, but whatever, it's fine. So they give them to you, so use them. So A is uh, the volume in total is pi r squared h, that's the cylinder, plus 4 thirds pi r cubed. And we are doing, this is just an algebra problem, right? I think, so the volume is 144 pi equals pi. The radius we're told is three. The height, we don't know, that's the whole point. And four thirds pi three cubed. Okay, so there's a pi everywhere. So we can just like cancel those out. Maybe I'll like this, this, and this. They're just gonna cancel straight out. So 144 equals, we have nine H plus uh, three and three cubed gives me three squared, which is nine times four is 36, so plus 36. Uh, I think I can divide everything by nine. Like 144 is 12 squared, so it's three squared times four squared. Um, so if I divide everything by nine, I would get, I forget what I did, three squared, four squared. I mean, you get 16 equals H plus four. So I believe H is 12 centimeters. I think the height is 12 centimeters, does that make sense? Uh, yeah, sure. 90, 108 plus 36, sure. Makes sense, good. That's my answer. The whole thing is my answer, but you know we're probably gonna need that for the next part. At this instant, how fast is the height? So we're finding dh dt. I think we have to use this. So part B is essentially saying find dh dt. All right, so the volume, we're gonna do d dt of volume equals d dt of, I mean, I should probably like factor this a little bit or something, but notice me not doing that, but I probably should. Four thirds pi r cubed. All right, dv dt, which I think we were told is gonna be first pi r squared dh dt plus second, which is h times two pi r dr dt plus, that was the product rule. That's a, that's a source of error, first and second, right? So we did uh, first derivative of the second plus second and then derivative of the first. That's all from the product rule. And then here we'll get a chain rule thing for pi r squared d 
dr dt. Okay. What do we know? We know like everything. Uh, dr dt is going to be three. That's totally wrong. dr dt is going to be two. Um, dv dt is 261 pi. So that's like a gross number. I don't know if like magic is going to happen. Pi r is three. Is that correct? R is three. So this will be nine pi dh dt is the whole question, right? Plus the height we just found was 12 times two pi times three rogue parentheses showing up. dr dt we're told is two. Oh, that's the thing that I just said totally wrong. Plus four pi three squared times two. This is just gross. Uh, you can dump all the pies because there's a pie everywhere. Nine dh dt is what we're solving for. Plus two times two is four times three is 12 times 12 is 144. Plus uh, nine times two is 18 times four is 72. Okay, 261 nine dhdt i think everything was a, a multiple of three but i decided to ignore that two one six what is two two this is sort of embarrassing but not really uh five and then i had to borrow one <laughs> this is 40 45 55 60 okay 45 45 equals nine dhdt so dh dt, nine divided by, nope, 45 divided by nine, five. Uh, I believe it's centimeters per second. No, it's per minute. Yeah, you know how I knew it was per minute? Cause I thought about doing like a joke, you know, about canceling the M's um, and getting like centimeters, C's per inch. Uh, I thought about making that joke, but then I, thought better of it. And then at the last second, it actually saved me from using the wrong units. So maybe I should have made it or at least thought about it. I'm glad I thought about it. Okay. So I get five, which is a really nice answer. Um, and then here I got 12 and I think that's the entire problem. So I'm going to wrap it up here. That's 1985 way in the past. Um, AB five still good though. Um, so anyway, I hope you found this helpful and good luck.